Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna turn on the light, sorry. It's a little bit dark because um, it is a rainy day here in Atlanta. I'm gonna start this new vlog because I am gonna be 37, 36 weeks on Tuesday and I kind of want to document this early labor signs that I'm having. I, again, like I don't know if I am having labor signs, but I kind of wanted to just document all the little things that I've been experiencing leading up to baby number two's birth. Like I said, I am 36 weeks on Tuesday, which means I am 35 and four days today. I have been or getting Braxton Hicks for the past two weeks now. And Braxton Hicks is just like a really new feeling and experience for me because with my first, I didn't really get to experience it or I guess I wasn't really aware of what's going on with my body and so i don't think i remember experiencing it but with this pregnancy i started feeling like my stomach contracting or getting tight multiple times a day and i started kind of like tracking them to see like how many of them i'm getting throughout the day but they're so irregular and they go from like 30 seconds to four minutes sometimes and it's just like all over the place they're, it's a daily occurrence now and I notice that it happens mostly at nights and it also wakes me up in the middle of the night because it just it's very uncomfortable it doesn't really hurt though um, it's just like my stomach tightening um, while I'm standing up sitting down like I can be whatever and that just happens um, so just to give you guys a quick background I am going to be going for a trial of labor for attempted VBAC um, I had a c-section with my first went into an emergency c-section because uh, he wasn't responding or we weren't really progressing in labor. We were 40 weeks and I was zero centimeters dilated and I induced him and we were in labor for basically three days. Um, I tried to go the unmedicated route. So I was on Pitocin with no epidural, um, no really drug medicine, pain medicine to help me manage through the pain, um, but it ended up with a C-section. I couldn't progress beyond seven centimeters. This time around, I'm gonna try to go for a, um, a VBAC, but I'm keeping an open mind, really even if I do get have to get an epidural because I can't stand the pain, then I'm not gonna like feel guilty over it. Um, I'm just gonna do what's right for me and my, and my baby, and my body. So aside from the Braxton Hicks, I have also been feeling cramping. Um, it feels like I'm about to get my period, which is really weird because, you know, obviously I haven't gotten my period for like nine months now. And um, it's just, like the cramping in the uterus area. And I also feel like my cervix um, stretching, which is a very common sign for me, a common PMS sign for me. Bef when I used to have my period, bef if I'm not pregnant, um, I always feel like my cervix is being stretched and then the next day I will have my period, so I'm feeling that. Um, and sometimes my cramping does hurt, uh, which I think is normal with cramping. But yeah, I'm 36 weeks on Tuesday and that means I'm going to be nine months pregnant. So, oh my gosh. So if I feel anything more or less um, like different or whatever, then I'm definitely going to come back on here and uh, make sure that you guys are updated. Okay. I am 38 weeks officially today and this is just... A continuation of my early labor symptoms so I think the last time I came on here I was 36 weeks um, I finally made it through 37 weeks and then 38 today how do I feel I feel like I am definitely contracting more frequently now my cramping is also very frequent also as well <laughs> and um, they do hurt so i do notice that my contractions it's happening right now my contractions starting on sunday have been very irregular but some of them have been hurting like it doesn't hurt to the point where like i'm doubling over but it it is not not painful um so i actually had my doctor's appointment today 
or I had an appointment with one of my midwives this morning and I did not get my cervix checked because I checked last week or we checked last week at my 37th week appointment. Um, and at my 37 weeks, they found that my cervix is ripening, so it's softening. They felt the baby's head, um, which is nice, in a head down position. My cervix is still or was still in a posterior position, which means it was kind of behind the baby's head. Um, and that's normal when you are closer to your labor, then that cervix should be moving more towards the front. So I am 38 weeks today. I don't know how it looks like down there because we didn't get checked um, today. However, like I said, you know, I have been feeling um, these contractions. They're very frequent. Some of them do hurt. And I've started doing a lot of exercises to try to induce my labor naturally. Um, if the baby's not ready, she's not going to come. But at least all these exercises that I'm doing now will help me kind of go through labor more easily when the time comes. So I got a birthing ball yesterday. I started bouncing on it. And um, I have done the mile circle, miles circuit multiple times a day. And so I'm going to try to do it again tonight. And hopefully tonight, I'm actually not going to make dinner. I'm not going to cook. <laughs> So I like really want to go on the trail and like try to walk three, four or five miles um, because like I said, I just want to have an easy delivery whenever that comes. I'm actually very tired and that's also another symptom that I've been having is this past weekend I was just so exhausted. Like my body is really, really fatigued and I took a couple naps. Like I remember on Sunday also I washed my hair and after I washed my hair, I lay down in his bed and took a nap because I was just so tired. Um, but we have been nesting. We've done a lot of things in the house to try to get baby right, to try to get everything ready before baby gets here. But yeah, that's kind of like the update um, that I have for this week. We're at the park today. Alden is climbing this thing. Hi, Alden. Alden, where are you? I see you. He's gonna come down this red slide, everyone. See Alden come out. Hi! <laughs> that was so cool. No, no, no. There is. Where's Alden? <laughs> this is fun. I don't need. I don't need any hands. Look, mom, no hands. I don't need hands. You don't. So relaxing. Where's the cap? The cap's right here. So we just left the we just left the park. How do you ask? Now we're going to go to Publix, you're right. We're going to get some turkey, lettuce, lettuce milk, milk, bread. Yeah, I know that. Yep, so we're going to make a turkey sandwich. All right, see you at Publix, guys. Okay, so where is the bread that we always get, Alden? There. Yeah, but um. Yeah, let's try that. Cause I have some strawberry yeah, cream cheese. Over there, mommy, don't I know we normally get that one, but say hi. Hi. So we always get oatmeal, but they don't have oatmeal. Oh, they they changed the name. There you go. It's now called Homestyle Oat. Alrighty.